Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't released any sort of halfway decent video, so we're going to release a less than halfway decent video today. Uh, in slow motion here, as we dive down to the timing set of the S4E engine inside of the Mitsubishi forklift, I want you to notice that there's some ones on that center sprocket or gear, and there's a one on the crank gear, and they do not currently correlate. I have removed the timing cover and we spun it over several times till I was super tired of it. Um, you notice there's some twos there and up there there's another two. Okay, now there's a three and some other threes and none of them correlate. The point is that there is a center sprocket or gear. There is a crank gear that drives that center gear. The center gear controls the timing of that balance shaft and uh, or whatever. And most importantly, the injection pump because my forklift is wicked out of time. So as we go up here, here's the cat industrial yellow Mitsubishi forklift engine. We go down, we, we have a look-see. Boom, stops right there. I have a one in between the other ones because we already put this back in time. There it is. Yep, still it. And boom, we have a two in between the other twos. And moving over, we have a green dot. That's super helpful. Very helpful. Super fun to film this. Look at that. A three in between a three and a squiggly line, which is actually another three. Now, this was a little bit of a job getting this front cover off. While I've got you here, I just want to let you know that I did end up pulling, see, the coupler, which goes over to the uh, PTO drive. There's the gears again, so you can see it. The PTO having the hydraulic pump and the fan off of it uh, no puller really wanted to fit in that hole that was fun to get the crank pulley off that kind of thing uh, the, as usual with pretty much everything else on this engine it's really well thought out it's really well made but I did want to go through that there are a couple things that I had to use an air hammer to, to help beat that pulley off and some stuff but it's really been a uh, challenge on that but I knew that the fuel timing was way off and uh, I went through and kind of added everything up I think it was like seven teeth off so the fact that this thing ran at all was a little bit of a of a uh, mystery um, and this is the exact timing that I put the when I had the injection pump out I just marked gear to gear so it would go right back in where it was I didn't have a battery in it I didn't have to worry about it turning over and somehow this thing had been apart before some RTV and some stuff and they had had it way way out and it's very possible that's the reason this thing ended up in the junk heap in the first place but anyways uh, thank you so much for watching today thank you for continuing to support Hillside Auto and Power Sport Repair and uh, as we move through continuing into the new shop catching up with the amount of work that we have there dealing with uh, life and personal items that happen um, just wanted to say thank you for your support. Feel free to use any of our Amazon links, which I will post later after I've gotten some sleep. And uh, show this to your friends. Like, subscribe, comment. And I may or may not comment back. Alright. Guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for your support.